With the trailer for Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny finally releasing worldwide after a series of delays and pushbacks, hope that the fifth film in the legendary series would create a nostalgic fervor and excitement has instead been mixed with drama and concern that early rumors and leaks that could ruin the film are being confirmed. The backlash was enough to get Academy Award nominated Indiana Jones 5 director James Mangold to counter rumors in a series of definitive, frustrating tweets calling out trolls and making assurances. But controversial rumors and reported leaks combined with set photos released prior to the trailer have some fans wondering if the director's response is an attempt to misdirect or even lie about the 2023 summer blockbuster movie to ensure butts make it to seats and Disney is able to recoup the $250 million plus this movie is expected to cost. What are the rumors that have fans worried and are they justified? And is it something James Mangold would lie about? Is Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny really in trouble, or is this all just a big conspiracy concocted by disillusioned Star Wars fans waiting for the other shoe to drop on the beloved Indiana Jones franchise? The truth may surprise you, so you don't want to miss this episode. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so now. And give us a thumbs up if you want more honest pop culture like this. And make sure you stay tuned to the end to see how to get this awesome Indiana Jones inspired graphic design from the amazing artists at MixTees.com. And since we want to give away gifts this holiday season, we are giving away three free Indiana Jones shirts just for you. All you have to do is be a subscriber, like this video, and leave a thoughtful comment to win. Anything goes. Almost from the moment Indiana Jones 5 began filming back in June 2021, when the first set photos and concept art began coming out, fans have been theorizing about what we can expect to see in the upcoming movie. From Harrison Ford being almost completely replaced by a body double because of his age, to Indiana Jones fighting Nazis on the moon, Nazis from the moon. <laughs> and even a time travel story where our favorite adventure-seeking archaeologist dies and Phoebe Waller-Bridge replaces Ford as the new Indiana Jones. Uh, yes. Yes, please, yes. And when you combine all of this with an overwhelming number of fans who believe Lucasfilms and Kathleen Kennedy destroyed the Star Wars Skywalker saga, Your anger. trust is weary thin. The early narrative among many fans was that Disney and Kennedy would ruin Indiana Jones in much the same way. And in all fairness, no one at Disney should be surprised or upset that fans feel this way, considering how legacy Star Wars characters were treated in the final trilogy. The problem is, no one told that to James Mangold, who has come out swinging at critics on platforms such as Twitter from the beginning. Mangold, who was handpicked by Kennedy, Ford, and Spielberg to make this film, is incredibly passionate about what he is creating. He is well aware of the Mount Rushmore of talent he is swimming with in George Lucas and Spielberg, and has been taking would-be opportunistic naysayers to the proverbial woodshed. Well, well, Indiana Jones! What you doing in our neck of the woods? He has very strong feelings about what he perceives to be content makers intentionally cooking up false information and then hiding behind fake sources to make money off of twisting people's emotions. And while that certainly is the case sometimes, there are also times when insiders leak information to the public and elements of the truth make it to the internet. And just a special note as we move forward, there may be potential spoilers for Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, so you've been warned. One of the elements of truth comes from a Reddit post from June 15, 2021 that went up just as filming began. The post was removed by moderators who said they received a DMCA takedown notice and was forced to remove the post. Typically, it's only copyright holders who can force material to be taken off the internet. In this post, an anonymous Redditor claimed that the film opens at the close of World War II at a German castle where covert experiments are being carried out on religious artifacts brought by their Nazi archaeologists. 
a de-aged Harrison Ford infiltrates the facility in an attempt to recover the artifact. The artifact is a bell known as Die Glock, which is rumored to have anti-gravitational properties and may even have the potential to manipulate time itself. The bell is loaded onto a Nazi train. Indy pursues the train and fights with a formidable Nazi officer played by Mads Mikkelsen, but the train disappears into the mountains. Fast forward to the late 60s, the scientist Indy fought on the train is working with NASA and the American government wants to use Die Glock to advance the space race. The Post also reported that Karen Allen and John Reese davies would have cameos. The Post included a series of artist-rendered set designs that backed up some of these claims. While refuted as being authentic at the time, it has now been confirmed by Empire Magazine, among others, that the opening sequence of the movie will be a de-aged Indiana Jones in 1944. The trailer reveals World War II Germans, a castle, a de-aged Indy, a pursuit, and an encounter on top of a train with a Nazi officer who we see as Mickelson. We also know that John Reese davies will be back, and Karen Allen is reporting she could tell us if she's in the movie, but then she'd have to kill us. Which means she's in the movie. Nearly everything from that original leaked post has been confirmed. So when set pictures of ancient Roman soldiers, a de-aged Harrison Ford, the ticker tape parade of the moon landing, and the mention of a time-altering German wonder weapon showed up, it's no wonder that fans started to believe there would be time travel in this movie. Even Mickelson gives away something interesting. But before we share what he said, let me quickly tell you why you're going to love this video's sponsor, Exter. We just threw away our old wallets. Wanna know why? Because we just discovered the most efficient smart wallet in the world. Exter has revolutionized the wallet and we will never go back to Bifold. We are so impressed. Exter wallets are super slim and sleek. They are half the size of a conventional Bifold wallet. Compact and modular, they hold 12 cards or more plus cash. And that means no more stuff that bulky, worn-out bifold wallet into your back pocket. Forget sitting on that uncomfortable lump and slide extra into your front pocket instead. This high-quality wallet combines Italian leather, space-grade aluminum, and carbon fiber. Plus, it includes built-in RFID blocking to protect you from wireless theft. And you know how hard it can be to replace all of your cards if your wallet is stolen. Exter includes a tracking card to help you keep an eye on your belongings with a map, and you can even ring it for location assistance. This is the last wallet you'll ever buy. To get an extra wallet like ours, visit shop.exter.com slash thepopcast. Get 25% off your order when you use code thepopcast at checkout. Join the wallet revolution and upgrade your quality of life with Exter today. Chilled monkey brain. Mickelson may have given us more than he realized during an interview with Empire Magazine. He said he is playing a man who would like to correct some of the mistakes of the past. There is something that could make the world a much better place to live in. He would love to get his hands on it. Indiana Jones wants to get his hands on it as well. And so we have a story. Doesn't that sound like they are both fighting over some sort of time-altering device in an attempt to change the past or keep it from changing? And despite Mangold's attempts to dissuade anyone from believing the false troll negatives including time travel, you only have to point to the trailer to say, well, it sure the heck looks like time travel. The scene in Indiana's class seems to show some sort of UFO or device that has a striking resemblance to Die Glock. And in another shot, we see what looks like a World War II cockpit and a bomber flying into some sort of glowing, swirling light. Not to mention those set photos of ancient Romans. Is it crazy for people to think there is time travel? But the biggest concern about the upcoming movie from fans really seems to be the fear that Waller Bridge will take over the mantle as the new Indiana Jones. The fear is based on a perception fans have that Disney is trying to replace legacy characters with female counterparts. They cite the Marvel Cinematic Universe and Star Wars as examples. Even though Bridge is only playing Indy's goddaughter, and the only real evidence of her doing something Jones-like in the trailer is this scene where she is hanging out the back window of a car during a chase scene, fans can't shake the feeling that with Harrison Ford now 80 and Waller Bridge playing a huge role in the upcoming film, that she's obviously going to be taking over. 
People claim they've seen screenings that have a young Indy sacrificing himself to save Helena, which will cause old Indy to fade away a la Back to the Future, while Jones's goddaughter picks up his iconic hat and puts it on her head. It was reported the movie will end in the words, Helena will return, will be up on the screen. Could this be true? Mangold was quick to come out and say there have been no fan screenings and no one is taking over or replacing Indy or donning his hat, nor is he being erased through some contrivance. But words from a director don't always easily convince fans. And some directors aren't always telling the truth. All you have to do is go back to J.J. Abrams lying about Benedict Cumberbatch playing Khan in Star Trek Into Darkness, or Kevin Smith saying Tila wasn't the main character in He-Man in the Masters of the Universe. But as fans, we have to understand some misdirection from directors who don't want movies spoiled before fans have a chance to experience the film have to be expected. But while fans might be able to let Khan's white lie go, Kevin Smith's outright lie was not. Is Mangold telling us the truth about Indiana Jones 5, or is he fibbing? As our friends over at the Salty Nerd Podcast learned when Mangold took aim at some of their criticism, or is he trying to punch everyone in the eye so they can't see the truth that Kathleen Kennedy has forced him to replace our beloved Indy with a female protagonist? Well, let's look at the evidence. James Mangold is actually a pretty good director. When you look at his body of work, he just makes good movies. Ford vs. Ferrari, Logan, 310 to Yuma, Walk the Line, and Girl Interrupted. <laughs> All good movies across a variety of genres. The man is passionate about his work, and while a quick look down Twitter lane reveals that he likely leans to the left, there is no evidence or work that would indicate he has a woke agenda. Mangold wrote the script from scratch along with Jez Butterworth, who also wrote Ford vs. Ferrari, Edge of Tomorrow, and Spectre, so there are no red flags there either. Some people might argue that Ryan Johnson made great stuff before The Last Jedi and until Kathleen Kennedy got her hooks into him. But the truth is that Kennedy pushed Johnson to make Episode Eight his own and not worry about the fandom. If Kennedy gave Mangold the same marching orders, rest assured his respect for Steven Spielberg and awareness of the Mount Rushmore of directors we mentioned earlier will make him think twice before ruining the legacy of Indiana Jones. Spielberg has publicly said he wouldn't kill Indy, and the fact that Mangold is directing has some fans pointing out that is the reason Spielberg isn't directing. That said, Spielberg is still a producer, and Mangold has already doubled down saying no one is taking over or replacing Indy. While possible, we find it hard to believe he would boldface lie about this. Could he be dodging the truth by knowing Waller Bridge will continue doing more Indiana Jones adventures as herself? And because she's not actually Indiana Jones, then it wasn't really a lie? We hope not, because fans will see right through this, and it won't go well for Mangold's reputation. As for whether or not Harrison Ford is too old to play Indy, despite having an excellent body double, it's reported that Ford did a lot of stunts and the movie will feel like Indy is doing indie things. On the topic of time travel, we've gone frame by frame through the trailer, and other than the weird swirly light scene, we don't see anything that indicates time travel will occur. It seems more likely that the Dial of Destiny will have some time-altering ability that won't actually end up altering time. The movie will start with a de-aged Harrison Ford doing flashback stuff in 1944, while also showing a current-aged Mickelson. We'll then move to 1969, where we have a current-aged Ford with an aged Mickelson. You can see in this quick shot in the trailer that Mickelson looks much older than his actual 57-year-old self. We believe the bulk of the film will take place in 1969. What about the Roman soldiers, you say? Well, we think that will be a flashback for when they talk about the Dial of Destiny and discuss its origin. We think the Dial is inspired by the Antikythera mechanism found in the wreck of a 2,000-year-old vessel off the Greek island. The device is a series of brass gears and dials mounted in a case the size of a mantle clock and is believed to possibly be the world's first mechanical computer. While not confirmed, a flashback of the device would explain those out-of-time Romans, or are they possibly Greeks, and the boat that they seem to be rowing. As for the leakers themselves, there are a lot of content creators who take rumors and then spin them into theories. Without naming names, there are several that have insisted Indy will fight Nazis on the moon, Young Indy, Old Indy, and Helena will fight together, or Indy does nothing and Helena is the only character involved in the action. This is simply not true. 
the best way to check to see if you can trust someone's content is to look at their track record. If they claim everything they got wrong was retconned, take that with a grain of salt as well. As for the person that got mangled to go on a Twitter tirade recently, claiming they were in a screening and that the screening was awful and everyone hated it, the director did say there were no screenings. But if you're looking for truth, just note that this person said Mickelson was playing the character of Tot, who we remember as the character who melted during Raiders of the Lost Ark. This person being insistent that they are correct, when this is clearly not true since Mickelson is playing a different German officer named Voller, would put into question everything else this person anonymously put out on the internet. It seems more likely that Mangold is telling the truth in his recent angry tweets. Does this mean Indiana Jones 5 is going to be a great movie? Not necessarily. The greatest director of all time, Steven Spielberg, couldn't make Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull good. So a fifth movie, as well done as the first three, is anything but guaranteed. But there is nothing yet to be seen that says the movie will be awful either. Everyone deserves a chance, especially a director who's done a really solid job making movies up until this point. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny deserves to be judged fairly on its own merit and against its predecessors June 30th. To call it definitively anything else before then simply wouldn't be fair. Although if we could give some advice to Mangold directly, it would be to take the high road when mixing it up with fans on social media. When you're worth $20 million, punching down is a bad look. Make an incredible movie and then watch them line up to tell you how great it is. Never let your mouth or your fingers do something your talent can do instead. What do you think? Do you think Mangold is telling the truth or is it all a ploy to control the narrative? Will you be watching Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny or have the rumors turned you off? What are you looking forward to seeing most in the movie? Let's talk about it in the comments below. Also, support the channel and check out this incredible Indiana Jones graphic design in our store. Get 20% off your purchase by using coupon code THEPOPCAST. The link is in the description below. Who is this man? I'm He's her godfather. Get back!